Welcome to East Tennessee Pinball. I've been working on this Disco Fever for a little bit now and uh, almost done with it and it started freaking out with the lamp, some lamp matrix problems. Uh, it's actually in a game and uh, I don't know where the bonus ladder is supposed to be but they're all, most of them are lit up, a couple are blinking. It's not ever supposed to have them blinking and uh, so uh, it's pretty strange. So uh, I started, I, you know, Hooked up the logic probe here to the five volts on either side of this cap here. Uh, so all oh, my first thing I did was look in looked on the uh, switch matrix diagram, which I've got right here. All those that bonus ladder, it's all right here, with the exception of the two thousand, the very lowest one, and it's actually supposed to be lit all the time anyway. So all those are either lit or blinking when they should not be. Uh, so it's all related to columns six. So that's what I was suspecting. So I go over here to the lamp matrix or the uh, solenoid driver board. So all the lamp matrix stuff is over here and they're pretty well organized. So it's like, that's one, column one, column two, column three, column four, column five, column six. So that's all this stuff on this, this row here, six is the one I'm worried about and seven and eight. So just got my logic pro, I just start probing away here. You know, we're high, high. They all sound pretty much the same. Uh, and that's the last thing. So they go, it goes from right to left. This, this last transistor here is the last thing before it goes to this pin. So let's start with the pin, actually. This is the pin. This is the uh, columns going out to the board. They're pulsing high-low. That's actually high-low. High and low. There's not much low, but there is some low. High and low. High and low. High and low. High and low. And I skip this one here, which is pin 6 it's solid high here it's very different than all the rest uh so again suspicion so that's it it is unplug the play field you still get the same behavior so it's it's on the board uh so i already went went through here these are all the same This resistor is the last thing before this transistor. So here I'm going to measure one of these transistors that I know is working well. So the left and right pins are high, blinking high, pulsing high, pulsing high low. This is the one of concern. If I can get it in there. That's pulsing high, pulsing high. And the center pin is also just pulsing high, just like this pin, because it's the same. That pin there connects directly to that. So this is the last thing before here. So it appears that this transistor is the culprit. So I'm gonna yank the board out and swap out that transistor and we'll see where we're at after that. So just like that, the game's uh, repaired now. So I'll tell you, I took this over to the bench. Uh, I did a diode test on the old transistor when it when it's off the board and I get to it better and it showed good. I went ahead and swapped out anyway because I had the board out and you know, they're cheap. Uh, what I did notice is the trace between this on the back of the board between this resistor and this, uh, oh, sorry, between this resistor and this transistor, that little trace there had a little crack in it. So that may have been the problem. I mean, th these resistors here, they put off a lot of heat and it's an old board, you know, so uh, you see that those kind of thing. So uh, I went ahead and reflowed the solder on all those traces between this resistor and that transistor. A couple other was ones didn't look quite great. So I uh, did that to all of them. And uh, so anyway, you see this is the way it's supposed to look in the tractor mode with just the 2000 going there. So, uh, or actually it's, it's, this is the game is, is running with the ball in the trough. Uh, just waiting for the ball to shoot. So it starts with 2000 only. So that's good. Uh, shoot a few targets down. I do have a bulb missing on the 6,000 there, so that's all right. Uh, so anyway, uh, looks like it got it worked out. So uh, just a, kind of a tutorial on using the Logic Probe. Adios.